Have you ever wondered what bridges are and how they work? Well, today is your lucky day. In today's video, you will interview Dr. Adam Daniels, an orthodontist. Dr. Adam Daniels studied dentistry and orthodontics at the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and is an orthodontist at Connecticut Valley Orthodontics. He has been voted one of the top dentists in Connecticut Magazine for many years. In our interview today, we will learn more about what orthodontists do, how braces work, and we'll even learn some cool things he's been able to do using his expertise. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel and drop a like if you enjoy my videos. Also remember to share my channel with your family and friends and ask them to subscribe too. Now, let's get started. Hello, and welcome to STEMAGIR. I really appreciate the time you took out of your day to be here. So I know that you're an orthodontist. Can you explain briefly what an orthodontist is? Yeah, so um, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it, Alonzo. Um, so an orthodontist, uh, most people know us by braces, right? So uh, if you think about like a dentist that actually like moves teeth, that that's, that's what most people know. But um, orthodontists do a little bit more than that. Um, we're kind of like dental facial orthopedists. So if you think of like an, uh, a bone surgeon, like an orthopedic surgeon, you know, um, mm -hmm. we're kind of jawbone people. So we help like um, with growth and development and trying to like get everybody's mouths into the correct shapes for the size of their teeth and stuff like that. We also do a little bit of like um, some like airway opening stuff because your top jaw is actually connected to your nose in the back of your throat. So it actually helps with airway. Um, mm. So if you, don't, you can't breathe through your nose and stuff. We can actually help that a lot. Um, and then we do some stuff with your jaw bones here where some people when they're older get like a lot of pain and discomfort called TMD. So um, we'll actually work on that as well. So we do a variety of things, but the most of what we do is actually move teeth with either braces or Invisalign. I know one of the things you do as an orthodontist is put braces on kids and adults. Can you explain to our viewers what braces are? Okay, so um, it's a little uh, biology and, and, and some kind of like, you know, automotive mechanic type stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. So your tooth is hard, right? You tap on your tooth, it's hard. Um, well, it's connected all the way up into the bone by another hard structure called the root of your tooth. You may be more familiar when your baby teeth are falling out. You have to wait for most of the root of your tooth to get dissolved and resorbed. Um, however, sometimes you either get a tooth pulled at the dentist and you can see the root or you pull it out and there's little fragments of spikes that stick up because they never got fully dissolved. Uh, so that part is really important. The root that is in your bone, when you apply pressure to one side. So if my arm was a tooth root in the bone, if you applied pressure over here, you have little cells in your body that'll come to the bone via the bloodstream, right? So you have little blood inside your bone and it'll actually dissolve it. It's like little mini Pac-Mans and mm -hmm. under a microscope, the cells look like little mini Pac-Mans. And on the side where your tooth is trying to move to, so that way you're pushing, the Pac-Mans eat up. Mm -hmm. Well, over here, there's little cells called osteoblasts that look like cement layers. Like if someone's building a chimney, you gotta put cement, put a brick. So they're doing the same thing and they're actually like laying down new bone. So you get resorption on one side with the Pac-Man teeth and like addition on the other side and then your teeth will just move. So it actually seems very simple for a complex bio biological process. What would you say to the kid or adult who is nervous about getting braces? Yeah, I would say for someone who's nervous about it, like I completely understand, right? Putting something foreign in their mouth, gluing it in um, can be weird. But luckily, there's been like millions upon millions of people gone through this. Um, and we know what we're doing. We know how we're going to do it. Um, the discomfort is what they're usually most worried about. And it's pretty transient, right? It only lasts for like a day or two and then it goes away. So, and 
the reason we're doing it, you have to remember we're like medical professionals. So we're doing this to like better someone's bite, someone's smile, someone's like jaw structure. So even if you're nervous about it, like the net result in the end is going to be a huge benefit. I've never had an adult or an older child who can really like understand what we're doing say to me that they regretted doing this. Everyone's always like, oh, I'm so happy I did this. So it's worth it in the long run. You just have to deal with a couple of days of pain. How exactly can you become an orthodontist, for example? Are there any classes or degrees that are important? Yeah, so I went to college for 11 years to be an orthodontist. Um, I didn't originally set out knowing I would be in it for 11 years, um, but you need to get an undergraduate degree. So you have to go to college for a four year or five year degree. Some people do it in three, but that's pretty rare. Um, and you need to take a lot of science classes. So all sorts of chemistry and biology, physics, um, all sorts of different things. You could be like, like we have majors in college and sometimes your major might be like art, um, which is kind of cool for a dentist to have art. And as an orthodontist, I'm kind of putting people's teeth in an artistic way. However, they have to function and I still need the biology and I still need the chemistry. So you're gonna have to, even if you're an art major, you're still gonna have to take all the science classes. So you gotta have all the science classes and some math, you know, um, which is really important to understand things. Um, from there, then you go on to dental school where you actually repeat all the science classes, but now it's more focused into the science of teeth moving. So you do a little bit of medical school with that. You learn a lot about a me medical things, physiology and how your organs communicate with each other and your brain and your bloodstream and all that. And then from there, then in order to be an orthodontist, I, after my dental degree, I went and I specialized and now I'm a specialist in orthodontics. So I had three years where I just basically treated patients and learned a ton more. I did a big research project called my master's thesis, and I got a master's in orthodontics. Can you share with us any cool facts about being an orthodontist? Oh, there's lots of cool facts. So I think like one of the coolest things is that like no mouth is created the same, even like twins, mm -hmm. you know, it's different um which is kind of nifty there's a lot of like you know genetics will decide kind of the shape and size of your teeth most of the time but there's so many environmental factors um so you know if you get stressed out one day and you start grinding your teeth you could actually change the shape of your tooth so even if you had two twins that look exactly alike their teeth are going to look a little bit different no matter what the size the shape is going to be a little different the wear is going to be different depends on what their favorite food is if they only eat soft foods all day they won't have anywhere but if they eat really hard 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 things they might have more cavities form differently and stuff so so it's kind of nifty you know um no two mouths are the same no two mouths respond the same so you can't just do like um like a almost like a cook, right? There's a recipe. You can't just have a recipe for everybody because um, that doesn't work, you know? So, and you have to remember that even though your teeth are here, you've got gum tissue, you've got bones, you've got lips, you've got cheek muscles. There's all sorts of different things around it, especially your tongue that affects how your teeth move and what happens. So, um, so that's actually kind of cool. And every personality is different. Everyone's anxiety is a little different. Their nervousness about what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. You know, everybody's teeth moves a little bit different. Um, some adults smoke and that'll actually make their teeth not move very fast because it makes the blood not come to the area. And so that's a whole nother story. So it's been, it's a, it's a cool, interesting profession and, and every single patient I sit down with and look at, like has a different story and a different like goal and outcome and stuff. So, so that's one of the best things that I love about orthodontics. Thank you again for taking the time out of your day to be here. I learned so much from your discussion and our viewers watching this video have learned some interesting facts about braces. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks Alonzo for having me. Thank you again for watching my videos. Please remember to subscribe and share my channel with your family and all of your friends. And ask them to subscribe too. Here you will see some of my other videos that I've made. And you can check them out on my channel homepage. See you in the next one.